right so today uh, I'm going to uh, create this object using FreeCut uh, we have a free cut here and the image reference we will try and drop it into free cut I go up to the view toggle the axis cross and I uh, want to model this object in the front view I uh, select in this image and transform it I type in here 90 rotate it and move it back a little bit I click OK now the first thing I need to do is I will sketch uh, the outline of the object first I go to the sketcher let's create a new sketch on the front and I'm using the B spline to sketch the outline from the left something like this I right click to confirm and I go over here sketching on the right okay next I will connect uh, between them uh, using the light the light tool click on it and make sure you uh, turn on the uh, auto constraint you create a light connecting them I close that I will extrude it uh, on the Y axis to create the base this is the Y axis the green one this one, the Y. So I select in the scat, go to the prod, it's true. I type in here two, and on the axis, I click on it, and you can see on the Y, one is good. I click uh, OK, yeah. and I have the base. Next, I go to the front uh, view, and we we'll, uh, sketch in. Uh, I will sketch in uh, this one and this one first and uh, next I will go to the right view and uh, sketch in uh, another sketch to define the curve of it and uh, you will use the miss curve in the curve workbench to uh, uh, generate uh, the, the shape of it I go to the front view and uh, go to the sketcher Go up here, uh, the wireframe, and uh, create a new sketch on the front. And we'll reference this one. This ply. Tracing the, the shape of this. Something like this. Zoom in here and uh, adjust the shape. I close that and I have the first curve I call this one left is star 1 right now I uh, go to the right view go to create new sketch on the right and I will reference oh sorry I will reference this uh, curve I go to the right view this ply uh, press something like this Uh, I selected this one and this one vertical constraint vertical constraint and uh, I will set the distance from this point to the middle of the scene I hit L sorry selecting this one from uh, selecting this one as well hit L and type in here something like 40 and I have a curve and for this curve, I will rename it left underscore 2, right? And I will hide it, I will use that later. Doing the same, create new sketch on the front, 
reference this line and this line start sketching the curve over here right something like this close that and we call this one rename it right underscore one I go to the right view and create new sketch on the right plane I will reference this line and uh, display start sketching the same this one and this one vertical I set this distance from here to here 40 I close that now I rename this one to be like a right underscore Right. I select in the right one, control select in the right two, I go to the curve workbench. Curve workbench. And miss curve. Sometimes it doesn't work, I uh, just do it again. You have the miss curve. Doing the same up here, left one and left two, miss curve. You have the second this curve. I rename this one uh, curve left curve underscore right. Now I uh, I will use the root surface to connect them. I go to the part and uh, I view the shed, the flat line. Select in this line, control select in this line, this uh, curve, yeah, and using the rule surface to create the surface. Do the same over here, this one and this one. Rule surface. I will hide uh, this one and this one and uh, in the middle also this one and this one through surface now I will show everything the next thing I need to do is I will combine on of these faces uh, to be one uh, solid to do that I select in this face Control selecting this file and this file is make sure you select uh, every face um, of this object. Okay, and after you've done that, you go to the curve and this uh, using the parametric solid to create the solid. Uh, from uh, selected phase and I hit space bar to uh, hide uh, the surface above we only have the surface uh, the solid visible you can see down here the data says solid next I will try to fillet it but uh, if you move your mouse over here you can see uh, you have multiple line here it's basically uh, this curve in this curve right here you select it and uh, hide I uh, select in this uh, curve control select in this curve Pick, uh, also this one this one Right. I go to the part and fill it uh, 0 0.5. Uh, 
0.5. You can see we uh, have a good field here. Check in. Something of this. Now I select in the fillet and uh, I hit Ctrl D. Instead of flat line, I use the shed. And uh, the material will be the chrome. Let's try the brass. Pick the folder. No, nope. let's try the, uh, the chrome. This one. Make something like this. I'm gonna close that. And also, we uh, we go to the view. A deviation. I change it to zero point zero two. Something really small, and we have something like this. So we just created the object. 